Hello, and welcome to this lesson on complex orders in the Interactive Brokers Client Portal API. In this lesson, we will be discussing how to place a bracket and spread order using the Client Portal API. To begin, let's first discuss how to create a bracket order for use in the Client Portal API. Given the starting point is the same as a standard order, I will present the same foundations as my previous lesson for discussing order placement. Here, we could see I will still be using the iServer forward slash account forward slash account ID forward slash orders endpoint. We will still be using the same JSON body value for my request and using my standard post request and JSON.dumps method I've used throughout the series. Now, we can start moving into newer territory. You may have noticed that our body references orders rather than just submitting a single order. This is because multiple legs can be sent in a single request. We can start with my original Apple market order I had made before, but now I can add a slight tweak. I will simply implement the field COID, which stands for Customer Order Identifier. While you are welcome to place order sequentially like before and retrieve the order ID before placing the next, we are able to predefine an order ID that can be used to attach multiple legs together. I will set the COID variable equal to Apple bracket and then MMDD. Though you could set this to any simple identifier that would help you. With our parent order set and our COID defined, we can move on to our first child order. I can copy my parent array as a starting point. I'm still going to keep most of my fields the same, but with a few tweaks. I will change my order type to limit and create a price field of 190. Then I will change my COID to apple bracket mm dd and then pt to signify a profit taker. Finally, I can introduce a new field parent ID and set it equal to my original COID, Apple bracket MMDD. So now we have a profit taker built. I can copy this and change my order type now to stop, and I will drop my price down to 185. Finally, I will change the COID from PT to SL. Now I have a full bracket order with the parent profit taker and stop loss legs attached. I would note that the Client Portal API maintains the same limitations as Trader Workstation with a maximum of six legs per order. With everything built, I will run my code to send all three of my orders. Just like in a standard order, you might encounter a precautionary setting from an order. If I utilize my reply endpoint, I can confirm this order and we will see all three order confirmations. Combination orders, or spread orders, may also be placed using the same orders endpoint. However, these are a bit different from how bracket orders are handled. Let's start with a basic limit order again. In the case of combo orders, we will be replacing the conID field with a conID EX instead. The conID EX field is a string representation of our combo order parameters. This will follow the format of spread conID, three semicolons, the first leg contract ID, forward slash ratio, and then a comma, our second leg conID, a forward slash, and its ratio, and then you may repeat this process for as many legs as you might require. Let's go ahead and break this down. First, spread con ID is a unique identifier used to denote a spread order. For US combos, a spread con ID is set to 2881238. For all other currencies, you will need to use the format spread underscore con ID and then a at symbol followed by the exchange. Following our spread con ID, we will then follow with three semicolons, 
and then introduce our first leg con ID. This will be the first contract to trade. In my case, I will use 497-222-760, which is the coming ES futures contract. You will need to follow this with a forward slash and then your spread ratio. The ratio indicates two parts. The first is the sign of the ratio, whether it is positive or negative. Positive signs indicate a buy side, while a negative value represents a sell side. This could also be explained as a state of long and short, respectively, depending on your current position and intention. Moving on from the sign, we have the actual value. These are multipliers of your quantity value. For example, we are using a quantity of 3 in our order today. If I use a ratio on my first leg of a positive one, then I will be buying 3 contracts. However, in options spreads, you may choose to have one option contract per 100 shares of the underlying stock. In that case, your options leg would use a ratio of 1, while your stock leg would use a ratio of 100. Now that we have the spread con ID and our first leg, we can now comma separate any additional legs for our order. I will add a comma after our last ratio, followed by the con ID for the ES back month, 495-512-552, and set my ratio to negative 1. This means that I will be buying the front month and shorting the back month. You are welcome to sell both legs, buy both legs, or change which leg is bought and which is sold. The only remaining outlier would invoke the price field. This price is the combined value of both legs, including the ratio. Given I have a long and short leg, I will need to subtract the value from my back month from my front month to find my price. Given I know my values are $4,493 for the front month, and then $4,543 for the back month, that leaves my end value with a total of negative $50. With all of my values set, I can go ahead and place my order. After receiving my 200 OK response, I can see my order submitted successfully from the Submitted field. Thank you for watching this lesson on complex orders in the Client Portal API. If you found this lesson helpful, please check out our other lessons in the Client Portal API tutorial series.